Hello and thank you for watching. I'm Ashley Van Dyke with Advantage Software and on today's video, Windows Workshop, Retrieving Off-Screen Dialogues, I'm going to show you how you can get a window that you can't see back on your main screen. We most commonly have to help users do this to retrieve things like the global box. Although I'm going to use Eclipse Dialogues to demonstrate this function, it is technically a Windows functionality. And it will work with any window that's open and active on your screen. What I'm going to do is open a job. I have a small sample job here open, and what I want to do is global store and then KWR as story. So what I'm going to do is put my cursor on store and I'll hit control G twice. And although the words are highlighted, and you see that at the top of Eclipse, my menus have been grayed out. I don't actually see the global window. If I click in my job, nothing happens. I'm not able to unselect my text or move my cursor anywhere else. If I hit escape, then I get my cursor control back and everything goes back to normal. But as soon as I global again, I don't have control and I also don't see that window. And that's because it's opening up off screen. And that may be because I've anchored it to a window that's no longer visible or for some other reason. However, you can tell because Eclipse is grayed out at the top and because you can't click anywhere, that although the global window can't be seen, it is the window that actually has focus. So what I'm going to do is use keyboard commands to move the global window back to my primary screen. And like I said, this will work with pretty much any dialog on your computer screen, even if it's not related to Eclipse. So first, you need to make sure that the window you want to move, in this case, the global window, is the window that has focus. Focus means that the window is active. So right now with my user settings, the user settings window has focus and the main Eclipse window does not. You see that the main Eclipse window is grayed out. Once I close my user settings, the main Eclipse window is no longer grayed out and now it has focus. So what I'm going to do is start my global fresh and that ensures that the global window now has focus. You see that at the top Eclipse is grayed out and so since I'm sure now that my global window has focus, I'm going to press Alt and then Spacebar. And what I'm going to do now is hit the M key on my keyboard to select the Move dialog. This will attach the dialog to my arrow keys. So next I can hit an arrow key and that's any directional key, so I'll hit left. And now if I move my cursor, the global window is simply attached to it. I'm not clicking anything or holding anything down. And what I can do now is put my global window where I want it. Go up to the little customize icon and choose anchor and press OK. And when I open my global window in the future, it'll come up anchored in that new location. So let me show you that again. I'm going to press Control G the global window opens and has the focus. So next, in order to move the window, I'm going to press Alt spacebar. And you see that now that we can see the menu, and you see that on the move command, M is highlighted. So if I hit M on my keyboard, the move command is operated. And now the window can be moved via keyboard. However, if I try to use my mouse at this point, it doesn't work. And if I click, I'll lose it. And so what I need to do at this point is instead of using my mouse is first hit any directional arrow key. This time I'll use right. And you see that this time the mouse cursor has changed back to an arrow and without clicking anything, I can click and drag the window around. And so again, that's alt spacebar, M for move, and then any directional arrow key. I'll use up this time. And again, the window is attached to my cursor. And I'm going to open up Windows Explorer. And I'll do the same thing on this window just to demonstrate that it does work on pretty much any window that has a similar menu. I'll press Alt Spacebar, M, an arrow key, this time down. 
And again, this window is attached right to my cursor and I can move it anywhere that I need to. And so that's a simple series of commands that you can use to get any window back to the correct screen. Newer versions of Eclipse should mostly eliminate this problem, but we do still get calls about it. And so I wanted to make sure that everyone knows this is possible. Don't forget that Advantage Software offers anytime support. Tech support can be reached with any question anytime, including weekends and holidays at 772-288-3266. Email support is available at support at eclipsecat.com. Thank you for watching this video. Please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so that you'll be notified when we publish new content in the future. Thank you so much and have a great day.